Christ means to live as Christ lives. Being in Christ means to live as Christ lives. Being in Christ means to live as Christ lives. The subject, if you're taking notes tonight. Yearning for the Spirit, the Word, and the fire of God. Yearning for the Spirit, the Word, and the fire of God. Main text once again, Ezekiel 37, verse 1 through 10. Verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and He brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and sent me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. Verse 2. Ezekiel 37, verse 2. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley. Bones that were very dry. Verse 3. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? Son of man, can these bones live? Baxi, Georgia, can Baxi live once again? Can Baxi, Georgia, live once again? Amen. I said, also raised Lord, you alone know. Also raised Lord, you alone know. Verse 4, Ezekiel 37, verse 4. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Verse 5, this is what the strange Lord says to these bones. I will make breath into you and you will come to life. Verse 6, I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Amen. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Amen. Verse 7, church. So I prophesy. So we prophesy tonight. Baxley shall be shaken under the anointing once again. Amen. Yes. Yes, Lord. Baxley, Georgia. Yes. Shall be shaken under the anointing once again. Amen, Lord. Verse 7. So I prophesy as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise. <laughs> can you hear the noise here in Baxley now? Oh, I said, can you hear the noise, church, in Baxley? Amen. Tonight. Tonight. Amen. Who's out here tonight? Amen. Amen. The people of God. The church of God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Who's out here tonight? Amen. Believers yes. who still oh, believe yeah. that God is able to do yeah. more than enough. Amen. Hey. Amen, church? Yes. There's a noise in the camp. There's a noise, Brother Larry. Amen? Sister, Brother, there's a noise in Baxley, Georgia. It might be small. My God have mercy. It might be small. But the Spirit of the Lord is rising up a new generation here in Baxley, Georgia. Yes. Amen. A new generation, Pastor. A new generation that's not afraid. To fight against religion. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Those religious demons. In Jesus' name, we break that power right now. Amen. Those religious demons, we bind you, we catch you back to the pit. In Jesus' name. Yes. Come on, church. Amen. Guys, let's know a new generation that has boldness. Amen. That's a hunger, brother Jerry, and thirsty for the things of God, brother Josh. Amen, man of God. Amen. A generation that's not afraid to prophesy. Thus saith the Holy Ghost. Thus saith the Holy Ghost. A generation that will stand up for the word of God. And will not buckle in time of trouble. Amen. A generation. A new generation. Verse 7. And rattling sound. And the bones came together. Bones to bone. Verse 8. And I looked and tenders and flesh appeared on them. And the skin covered them. But there was no breath in them. Verse 9. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man. Prophesy, son of man. And say to it. This is that the strange Lord says. Come from the four winds. Come from the four winds. Come from the four winds. O breath and breathe into the slain that they may live. Verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me and breath into them that they came to life and stood up on their feet. A vast army. Amen. Come on. Amen. A vast army. <coughs> point A. Three point tonight. If you take Amen. Come 
Come forth the four winds, north, south, east, and west. Come forth the four winds on the corner of the earth, north, south, east, and west. We got the creator of the whole universe. He spoke to his own prophet, Ezekiel. Think about it. At a time where Israel was in trouble, spiritually and naturally, if you read the context, right, church? But let's apply it, spiritually speaking, towards the 21st century, you and I right now back to Georgia. Come on. Amen? And that's the application for tonight for us. Yes. All right? Amen. And God is saying, can you all believe and stand in the gap that Baxley, Georgia shall be saved once again? That Baxley, Georgia shall be shaken once again? That Baxley, Georgia shall know my power once again? That Baxley, Georgia may live and not die. Amen. See, God only needs one person, church of God. Yes. Do you hear what I said? Amen. God don't need 25,000 people. He only need one man or one woman. Amen. That yes. will stand up in the gap and say, Father, if we could use anyone, you can use, use me. me. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you can use anyone, my friends, you may use me. Oh, and then seek it within his generation or within his time frame or air. God spoke to him, the creator of the whole universe who spoke the one into assistance and on the seventh day he rested. Come on. You have to understand this, church of God. The creator spoke to his own prophet. Come on. Jesus hasn't changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He was 13, 8. Amen. He, he hasn't changed. Malachi 3, 6, the Lord changed him not. Come on. He doesn't change. Amen. He doesn't change, church of God. Amen. We may change, but he doesn't change. Do you hear what I said? Amen. We might change because we're human beings. Unfortunately, we falter and we choose other ways to go here or go hither. But the Lord doesn't change, my Come friends. That's right. Touch your God, the Lord doesn't change. That's right. Come on, brother. And if the creator of the whole universe will speak to the old prophet Ezekiel and commanded Ezekiel to speak life to these dead bones, can you imagine the faith level? Our brother Ezekiel, Come on. can you imagine? Ezekiel says, God, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? Are you are you serious? These bones don't even have no flesh on them. They're, they're skeletons. They're skeletons. Amen? <laughs> they're skeletons. Come on. Amen. And you want me to speak life to these bones? That's the God that we serve, family. Amen. That's the God that you and I serve. We serve a God that sees tomorrow, not only today. Amen. We see right now. Yes. But Jehovah God sees tomorrow. He sees one minute from now. He sees 5, 10, 20, 30 years from now. Amen. We serve an eternal king. We serve an eternal God. So can you imagine the faith? That his brother had? He said, God, are you serious? So he commanded the prophet, Ezekiel. Now, Ezekiel was a minor prophet. He was a major prophet. That's right. If you study out, he wasn't no little rookie with respect. He was a man of God. A man that walked in the authority of God. Amen. He knew the power of God. Amen? Amen? He knew the spirit of God. He knew the voice of God. He knew when God will speak to him. And he will answer rapidly. Watch the verse 7 once again. So I prophesy as I was commanded. So I prophesy as I was commanded. This tent revival. Thank God for Brother Jerry and Sister Belinda. Yes. Come on, come on, Amen. Come on. Come on. Give glory and honor where honor is due. I yes. will call that. Amen. Come on. Thank you, sir. Out, just Amen. <laughs> Thank God that we have a couple here in Baxter, Georgia. Yes. That even despite the critics, do you hear what I said? Come on. And the tent ain't filled every night. Listen to me. They still hear. 
Yes. And they still will obey the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the God of Gods. Amen. And they will not buckle yes. under pressure. Nope. We need more of chairs and balloons. Amen. You see what I said, Amen. I said we need more of Jerry and Belinda's in this generation. Yes. We need some more Ezekiel's and, and, and Joshua and, 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 and Moses and John the Baptist. We need some more men and women of God to stand up and say, God, if you want me to prophesy to the city, to this county, to the state, it shall come to pass. Amen. Yes. Not people that will buckle under pressure. Not people that will flinch and back away. No, 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 no. No, church of God. We need folks that will stand up and will press sin into the mark that Paul said. I press forward for the mark that shall be for me. Amen. For yes. gain of things shall be behind me. The Bible says that. That's right. The Apostle Paul. Forgetting those things that are behind me, I push forward. I push forward. I press forward. Amen. I press forward. Yes. Tonight, something may be holding you back. Tonight, something may be just, just clinging on you. And, and, and you said, preacher, I got some bondages in my life. I got some things in my life, in my heart, in my mind. And they're just dragging me down. I cannot shake them off. Well, you came to the right place at the right time and the right date. Amen. Tonight, and the anointing is your night. Amen. Tonight is our night. Verse 7 still. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound of bones came together, bone to bone. Verse 8. And I looked, and tens of flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. So you caught that? Even when it seemed nothing was happening, there wasn't no breath in them yet. Mm -mm. Verse 9. They said to me, Prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man. Amen. Come on. Us tonight, we need to prophesy. That's right. We need to prophesy. Listen, guys. This tent, listen to me very carefully. This tent is not made. Listen to me. You have to understand the concept or the context of what I'm about to tell you. This tent cannot be a relaxed, listen to me, alright, I've been around, I've been around tent revivals, I've been around ministry. This tent cannot be a place people just come on a regular systematic way, just come and hear a word, you know, come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you know, skip Sunday, come back Monday, you know, sit down, you know, hear a word, hear two, three worship and go home and, and, and nothing happens. So this tent will turn into like a church establishment. This tent is not a church establishment. Amen. Now Sunday at 2 o'clock, you know, I mean, you know, to put, um, and Josh is now, you know, um, preaching, right? Yeah, so on Sunday 2 o'clock, and that's fine, Sundays. But this tent is not a church establishment. This is a revival center right here. Yeah. Amen. You understand what I'm telling you? Yes. If you come here, you know what I mean? Just, just relax and, and just, you know, you're so, just so accustomed to come here and sit down in a comfortable seat or the hard seat, you know, and, and just, you're so comfortable. Okay? Come on. It's not revival anymore. Amen. And look, it, it's not revival. Amen. It's not. Amen. It's become now an institution. Yes. This is not an institution. God didn't call Belinda and Brother Jerry to establish an institution. No. Amen. Me, so I don't know why the Spirit of God has me to say this, but it's for somebody here. Because I'm feeling this in spirit. Okay? We're getting too comfortable in here now. Oh, yeah, we are. I'm going to say boldly. Yes, we are. We're getting too comfortable here. This is not Amen. a church. This is a revival center. A place yes. of, of importation to store up your gift, to exhort you, to, you know, to empower you and I. Yes. To make us go to the streets. Guys, we need to go out there. Amen. And those if we have to get some flyers. These two cannot do it all by themselves, and Josh is helping them out. They, you know, I mean, it takes a, a whole team here. Yes. Amen. Amen. People are risking things over here and all that, but it's worth it because it's revival. Yes. Revival is worth it. It's worth it. Church of God. Amen. But we cannot come here and be comfortable. And it's becoming that. It's becoming now a comfortable sin. Come on. It can't do that. Amen. 
We cannot be comfortable in here. The title of this tent is out of your comfort zone. Yes. Am I lying? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Out of your comfort zone. Amen. It's on the poster right there. Amen. In front of you. There you go. No, on the podium. Oh, on the podium. Okay, right here. All right. Thank you. <laughs> out of your comfort zone. Tell me about it. Uh -huh. Thank you. Then why we come here ain't, ain't taking this as a church. Come on. Yes. It can be. Nope. This is a revival center. This is a center where people <coughs> come, get empowered, get exhorted, get impartation. So you all can go out here and back. So did you hear what I said? And lay hands on the sick and cast out demons and preach the gospel. That's a revival center. Amen. Let me ask you a question. If somebody's sick, and God forbid you you know, so you got bit by a snake. Where will you go, to the ER or to your clinic? Thank you. You go to the ER, right? Yes. Why? Why? Because they specialize. They specialize in things like that. All right? Now, hold up, hold up, catch this. Say you and I just bump our toe and, and our pinky is broken. You know, it's not an emergency. It just, it hurts, you know. Maybe call a doctor Monday, Tuesday, probably get an appointment, right? You know, maybe, maybe if that some people just won't care about it. Some people will go to, go to their, you know, go to a doctor and just probably get wrapped up a little bit, you know, get a little tired or whatever. See my point? God establishes place with power yes. from on high yes. to be imparted, to be exhorted. When you get here, you give out. You see what I said? What you receive here, you give out there. That's right. Yes. Amen. That's a revival center. Amen. Right. Amen. Wow. A revival center is when you come in, you intake, <clears throat> then you outtake. Amen. Others. Yes. Amen. Yes, some of you might not agree with me. That's where you are, how you are. Straight shot. Amen. I told you I'm going to come tonight. I'm going to talk as a pastor. Amen. <clears throat> a pastor cares for his flocks. Yes. Those who have experience with the pastorship. Amen. It's not always easy, isn't it, to be a pastor, bro, Larry? Not always. Some are for you, some are against you. Some don't agree Amen. with you, some do agree with you. Come on. Well, I'm not here for you, neither. I'm here to please God. And listen to me while I'm telling you. Amen. We need to come in here with the attitude, amen, of praising God, hearing the rain of word, and the importation that's given out. Take it out there. Yes, that's right. This, that's my point here. This is what God wants. This yes. is a revival medium. Not a church you know, establishment. For that, just go across the street Sunday morning. Come on. Yeah. Come on. No, this is a revival center. A Amen. Shaken by the anointing. Yes. The impartation to believe in supernatural miracles, signs, and wonders will appear in Jesus' holy name. Yes. Amen. Amen. But what you push, you can't do it. We need a team. A team to believe in the supernatural. A team that will take what God has given to you and I in this place and take it out there. Yes. Amen. Yes. See, I can only do so much because of my position right now. So you know, so you don't know. So I do what I can with what I have for a season in my life. Come on. But if I was right now full and loaded, amen. <laughs> but if I'm bargain, I'll be out on the streets at least four or five times a week. At least for 30 minutes. Knock on the doors, pass on fire, do whatever it takes. Amen. People need to understand that there is healing in this place. Yes. There's, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Amen. There's deliverance in this place. Yes. Amen. That brother came here about two weeks ago, right? Two weeks ago. You know what I'm talking about. You know, you came here to walk with your cane. Remember that? Yep, two weeks ago. You don't want the other, um, the blue man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That brother came in here to <coughs> walk with the cane. You know? Having some, some issues. And I seen him walking across this floor earlier tonight. So while he was singing, it brought a joy in my heart. Amen. To see the Spirit of God, what the Spirit of God has done. Amen. God, amen. Yes. I see him walk up here with no cane. He walked 10 times faster than he did two weeks ago. Amen. Now it's his job not only to testify of God's goodness, yes. but now for him to go and lay hands on the sick and then so recover. Yes. That's a revival center. Amen. Now you guys are understanding? Amen. Come on. Amen. 
This is a Vidaro center. A place of souls. Amen. Yes. A place to get empowered. A place to be filled. Body. About Jesus. Amen. Not in a religious bigot way. You hear what I said? No. In a small and a lovable way. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Yes. The gospel is not about being, you know, a religious format and shoved down to my throat. We don't do that. We love people in the gospel. Amen. You want to know how I came to know Jesus? Because of love. Yes. If somebody will shove this Bible down my throat, that wouldn't be good. Mm. But because of Pastor Reggie, Come he on. preached that God loves me. Yes, it's true, God hates sin. But despite that, God loves me. Amen. And that brought me to the kingdom. Yes. Because I heard that God loves Tony Rivera. Yes, amen. amen. All of us. Yes. Oh. And that ignite my soul. That ignite a passion in me, my friends. And made me to go in the streets and start preaching. And start declaring the glad tidings of my Heavenly Father. Amen. amen. Up to par. Guys, this is a revival center. <clears throat> what you receive here, give out out there. Yes, Don't amen. Don't come in here like this is a church systematically. Because this is what I'm catching. I'll be honest with you, boldly. I'm, I'm going to tell you publicly. This is what I'm catching. People come in here comfortable. Oh, another service. Who is the speaker tonight? Oh, okay, brother. So it's okay. Mm. Man, good word. Okay. And nothing happens. Come on. Nothing happens. We need change. Yep. Yes. Amen? Amen. We need change. Revival brings change. You know, revival ain't for the sinners. Come on. Revival is for the church of God. Yes. Come on. Amen. Preacher. Revival is for the body of Christ, and not for the, those outside the body of Christ. Amen. They don't know the Savior yet. Amen. Yes. So, so how can they be revived? Right. No, or, it's those who are sleeping within the church of Christ. Those who are sleeping. Yep. They're sleeping, like Fisher talks about. They're sleeping. Awake in your sleep. Awake, awake, and God will shine His light upon you. Come on. Amen. Come on. Awake, yes. awake, oh sleeper, awake. Yes. My friends, we need to understand the concept and the context here. If we say that this is a revival center, so it is. Then what you and I receive here tonight and last night Come and on. tomorrow night, we need to outbound it and take it outside these, Praise the Lord. these empty four walls. <laughs> Sister Belinda? Yep. If we don't take it, then what are we doing here? Amen. Come on. What are you doing here? Take it. Take the, the impartation. Amen. Take the healing, fluent power. What you receive here in the word of God and the truth of it. Take and share with somebody. That's the concept of revival meetings. Amen. 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 Point B. I wasn't going that route. We must cry out to the king and yearn in agony for the Holy Ghost power and for revival to be sent upon this nation, this state, and city. Amen. We must cry out to the king and yearn for the Holy Ghost power and for revival to be sent upon this nation, state, and city. Amen. How can revival really be sent forth if God cannot trust His own people? Come on. Church. Huh? Amen. How can it? How can God send a third grade awakening upon this nation, my friends, if His church is asleep? Come on. Amen. It's true. That's why I thank God for Sister Belinda and Brother Cherry. That's why I thank God for them. And like, Amen. And Brother Larry. And many others. And Brother Josh and many others. And many sisters who are here faithfully now. Amen. We want to see a move of God. Amen. Amen. Oh. Yes. You want God. Amen. You want God to use you. Yes. Because you're yearning more for God. Amen. Hmm? Amen. 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 So can I pray for you? Pray for me, My friend. I don't know you. That's okay. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. Pray for me. Just ask it.
Guys, I'm going to pray for this precious young man. God has a call upon his life. God brought you here purposely. God has a plan for his life. God will use you and your family. Or, or whoever's here. Are you his wife? I'm sorry. I'll go for a okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But God going to use you all. God going to use you. He got special ministry for you. Hallelujah. And it starts tonight. Glory to God. Come on, church. Come on. Come Amen. On, church. Yes. But, but we have to do things in order. So, church, just stretch your hands out to him. Just stretch your hands out. Everybody say this with me, please. Everybody say this with me. If you don't mind. Everybody, together. So, we have family here. Say, Father God. Father God. I come to you. I come to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I thank you. I thank you. For dying for me. For dying for me. For shedding your blood. For shedding your blood. On your cross. On your cross. I thank you. I thank you. For saving my soul. For saving my soul. I believe. I believe. You are the son. You are the son. Of the living God. Of the living God. Set me free. Set me free. Give me a passion. Give me a passion. For the lost. For the lost. Give me a passion. Give me a passion. For your kingdom. For your kingdom. Father. Father. Right now. Right now. I invite you. I invite you into my heart. Into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior. And fill me. And fill me. Fill me. And fill me with your glory. With your glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, brother, in Jesus' name. Fill Jesus' name. And he will never, never be the same again as of tonight. Never. And I thank you for what I you believe. have started in this life. I believe. I believe. Life. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. Shall be saved. I did that same prayer 14 years ago. The same prayer, but in front of like 2,500 people. Amen. <laughs> that same prayer. <laughs> Amen. Yes. <laughs> oh, glory. Oh, I feel the spirit of daddy here. I feel the spirit of daddy here, church. Amen. That same prayer I prayed 14 years ago. I was 18 years ago. 18 years old. And, and Pastor Carol was 17, praying with Chelsea. I was full of demons, full of sin. But the moment that I call upon the name of Jesus, the moment that I say, Father, come into my heart, I believe that you are the Son of God. It felt like 10,000 pounds just came out of me and off of me. Amen. And I found freedom and I found peace. Amen. I found freedom and I found peace. Pray for you. That's okay. Oh, Sister Belinda, come here. That's okay. What's your name, sweetheart? What's wrong? So, so can you walk normal sometimes? Or? Sometimes. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So, so it hurts sometimes. It hurts. Okay. So before I pray for you, okay? Okay. I um I don't know you know what y'all plans are, but I'm gonna give you a, a little uh, surprise. Or well, you know I'm gonna offer you a surprise. There you go. For free. Whenever you guys decide. I will marry you all. After that, under this tent. Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. For free. I love you all so much. Amen? So when are you ready? Come to Belinda. And I will marry you under this tent. In Jesus' name. How about that? Sounds good? Amen. Alright? Sounds good? Even at night, day, daytime, it don't matter. Okay, sweetheart? Okay. Now, did you pray that prayer? So like, okay, amen. So do you mean that prayer? You meant it? Amen. Amen. Come on, come on, church, come on. Amen. Two souls. Yes. Two souls. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Two souls. Amen. And whoever else prayed that, whoever else prayed that, young, old, and, and it don't matter. Come on. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Who shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Your Bible says that right Amen. there. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. 
hands are willing to lay your hands on her knees. But, yeah, because she's a female. Yeah, I'm only hands on you. Are you ready? Come on, church. You pray the Holy Ghost for a minute, Amen. please. Come on, come on, come on. Pray the Holy Ghost. Come on. Amen. Come on. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, Father God, as a church prays, Father God, we will not declare and decree a supernatural miracle right now. And there's rays on the right now, Father God, I speak right now. Persistent. Right now, Father God, I buy and I rebuke that thy beast right now to come into persistence as of tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus, 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 Jesus,
time the gospel hasn't changed my family. What you have heard tonight and seen and apprehended by the anointing through the word of daddy, take it outside these four empty walls. Amen. Do not inbound it, yes. but outbound it. Amen. Do not intake it only, but outtake it. Amen. If we come here, I'm going to share it once again boldly, publicly through YouTube, because this will be on YouTube tonight. Yes. If we come here to this tent with a systematic attitude that this is a church, you're wrong. It's not. No. This is Amen. a revival meeting, a revival center, a yes. place to say that thing, and then the anointed once again. Amen. Oh. And God's raising up a generation this hour. He's Amen. raising up a generation. Dread bones. Who are dying in backsliding. He says. Out of your comfort zone ministry. On Terry Bible. Will you prophesy. And speak. To these dead bones. Amen. Yes. Would you? I am. Amen. Even now. That I'm not even so close. To be dabbling in different things within a particular ministry, I am willing to stand up. Amen. And stick my neck out because I believe what God is doing in this valley. Amen. Amen. Yes. I believe what God is doing in this valley, Pastor Larry. Amen. Yes, I do. Yes. And Bashley is that valley. And Bashley has many oh. dead bones. But yes. God says, prophesy to these bones that they may live oh. and not oh. die. Amen. Yes. Yes. In the name of God forevermore. Amen. In this place. In this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I was planning to teach, but Daddy Spirit had other plans. I promise, Brother Larry, I don't teach. Well, you know how the Holy Ghost works. Be hungry for the things of God will cause you and I to act on the Word of God like never before. Amen. Come on. Just take God's Word and run with it. Come on. So others may see and experience the life-changing power of God through your life. Amen. Amen. Once again. Be hungry for the things of God will cause you and I to act on the word of God like never before. That's Comma. Right. Just Amen. take God's word and run with it. Comma. So others may see and experience the life changing power of God through your life and my life. Amen. Right. Let's go real long. <clears throat> I love verse 10. Point B. A vast army, brother Larry. Come on. Mm -hmm. Sister Belinda. A vast army, brother, sister. A vast army. And the valley of dry bones. God, He lifted up a vast army. Are you hearing this? This is prophetic. And a dry, dead valley, church. God had enough faith. They told once again His battle servant, Prophet Ezekiel, Speak, boy. Prophesy, boy. Speak into existence. Just speak life. Amen. I'll paraphrase a little bit. Just speak life. Yes. Speak 